I about had it, baby. I've sat at this table for just about as long as I can stand it. 80 degrees out there today, and this is what we're doing is working. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Well, it might be 5 o'clock here. No, it's 6 o'clock. <laughs> it's 6 o'clock? Oh, my gosh, it is 6 o'clock. For crying out loud. Let's get out of here and go down on the pier and see if we can catch a bass or two. I'm going to fish for crappie. Crappie? You think they're up? I do. I caught two down there the other day. I caught 14 down there yesterday. You didn't tell me that. Yesterday? Yesterday. Why didn't you fillet them? I didn't want to. <laughs> what if I'd have been here yesterday evening? I might have. You might have let me fillet them. You wouldn't cook them, so. No, I'd have filleted them for you, though. Well. Well, let me find a bucket. Let me find a bucket. Here's a crappie rod right here. Is there enough crappie rods down there? Mm, I think there's one or two. All right. Well, let's see what we can do. I might bass fish, so. Yeah, we don't need if you catch a bass. You caught, you caught 14 last night? 14. I was at 13, and I thought, well, I can't stop at 13. Well, it's I a good thing you more. didn't stop at 13. You might not have ever caught another one. How's your ankle? Is it doing better? Uh, what, what, it all depends on what you compare it to. Chris is moving kind of gingerly because... She crashed and burned a couple days ago, and I carried her to the hospital. Her ankle is not broken. It's only sprained, but she's, it's hurting a lot. It's been, what, four or five days? Uh, it's still kind of bad. We're going to go down to the pier and see if we can't catch a few crappie. Chris wants to uh, catch a few crappie for, uh, for uh, you going to carry my bucket? Chris is going to catch a few crappie for, for dinner, she thinks. <laughs> told me she caught 14 yesterday evening. She never told me that. I don't know why she didn't tell me that. I was out on Ardmore looking for the new state record, which I did not see. If I ever see that fish, I'm going to catch him, I guarantee you. We're about to run out of time to catch a state record this year, I think, but you never can tell. We still might have time to do it. But uh, we're going to go down there and see if she can catch some crappie. I'm going to bass fish a little bit. I might crappie fish she gets to catch them. We only need to catch about 10 to have crappie tomorrow evening for dinner. And uh, I don't know, we might do another little catch, clean, and cook video if we do that. I got that new Bubba knife and I hadn't got to try it out yet. I might try my new Bubba knife and see how that works. Show you all how Jimmy fillets crappie because that does sound pretty good. I might crappie fish myself. Hey, if you're watching and you're not subscribed to Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube, be sure and hit that subscribe button right now. About 80% of the people that watch Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube videos are not subscribed. That's amazing to me. We've got about 38,000. We want to get to that 40,000 mark. So be sure and subscribe to Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube. Hit that little notification bell. We're doing 500, over 500 videos a year. Learn how to catch fish. Right now I'm going to go down there and show Chris, teach her how to catch crappie. Yeah. There's she moves a, a little bit. Long down here. She moves a little bit like our internet. <laughs> Snail, gee, that's what we have. Okay, I'm not going to put any water in that bucket until you prove to me you can catch a crappie, girl. I'm going to just throw out here for a second before I bass fish. Where, where did you catch them yesterday? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Why are you standing right there? I just happened to be standing here. <laughs> Yo, ho, 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 ho. Woohoo! And they already spawned. <laughs> Look at there, Beamer. That's a baby. Beamer would eat that little guy. That's a pretty little bass, though. What'd you do, Chris? You catch something? Yeah, come get this crappie for me. A crappie? This meant let me wind my pole in. That's oh, a real big one? Yeah, it's a real big one. Well, hang on. Well, we don't want to catch the real big ones. We want to catch something to eat. So maybe you really did catch 14 crappie yesterday. I don't know. You, you might gonna, be telling me the truth after all. Are you going to help me? Huh? Are you going to land him? I don't know. Holy smokes. It's not a crappie. Oh, it's not? It's not a crappie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ah. You got 20-pound test line on there. You can just lift him right in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, she'll do anything to get me on my knees. Golly, he's really stuck. I have to have the needle nose to get that one done. 
Holy cow. Ah, I gotta have a needle nose to get that one done. <laughs> Does that mean go get the needle nose for me? Well, <laughs> I gotta have the needle nose to get done done, I know that. Look at that. That's no crappie. That's no crappie. Oh, that's all right, I got it. <laughs> Woo, look at that, that's the way to do it. That's a four pound bass, baby. Ooh, look at that fish, wow. Wow. You got 20 pound test line on that little Blaze Series run reel. Oh, you're wound all around the deal here. What's your problem? Okay. The other way. That's the way I was going. <laughs> over the top, over the top. Well, you are a mess. I might just as soon work. Thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> hey, I thought we were going to catch crappie. I was going to catch bass. You were going to catch crappie. I might be able to keep throwing my crankbait and spinnerbait and catch a big crappie. Like a big. Huh? Yep, that's a big crappie. Yeah, a big crappie. I don't think you got a big crappie. I thought we were going to catch some crappie for dinner. I could have caught all kinds of those bass. Oh my gosh, another good one too. I'm not gonna get down on my knees every time. You get to I got 20 pound test line on here. Yeah, that one's not near as big as the other one anyway. Yeah, it's stronger. Ooh, pretty nice though. <laughs> pretty nice bass right there. We are crappie fishing. Mm. Nothing sticking out of his throat. Very good, baby. Oh, me. What you got, babe? Another bass. Another bass? We're not gonna, we're not gonna eat those bass. You just will quit catching them. Oh, they come off. How come I'm not catching any? It came, came off? It mm -hmm. came out in front nah, of the nah, dog. Nah, nah, nah. Came off. Nah, 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 nah. Where how come I'm not catching any? I've caught one little bass about as long as my... He wasn't very big. It was a small bass. He was really small. And she's caught like six. I bet they all feel sorry for you. Well, yeah, you feel sorry for me, don't you? Don't you? Val, Angela, Trey, Luke. Come on. Come on, pals. Give me a little love. She's smoking me. But the crappie were biting. I mean, I'm not really even trying because I thought we were trying to catch a mess of fish for dinner for tomorrow night. They better bite in a hurry. Uh oh, there comes Miss Lucy. <laughs> I can't believe it took so long for her to get down here. You know, she was asleep up there in, in the boat building. I waked up in the boat building. She's in there in a the carpet. It's hot today. Come here, Lucy. Come here, girl. You too, Beamer. I Beamer. I Beamer. I Beamer. Is your name Lucy? Lucy, what you doing, baby? Where's Milburn? Did you leave him in the boat building? Huh? Did you leave Milburn in the boat building? Huh? Where's your little guy? Hey, baby. Where's your little guy, huh? Hey. What are you doing? What you doing, baby? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's my girl. Give me a little sugar. Hmm? I said, no, I'm not giving you any sugar. I'm mad at you. You've been down here fishing. Yeah. You catch a crappie? I got one to eat. <laughs> well, like I said, like I said, we're going to have to call Jesus and have him come to dinner. We're going to try to feed on one crappie. All right, I'm going to put a, I'm going to get some water in the bucket. We're going to put him in the bucket. And if you catch some more, we got to catch more than one. I'm not getting my knife dirty for one. My bucket doesn't have a handle. Why does it have a razor back on it? Huh? Why does your bucket have a razor back on it? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you what, it's pretty hard to lift one, that bucket up five gallons of water with one hand. i tell you that for a fact. Ah, put him in there. Ah. Look at those guns. This is this is crazy. 
This is crazy. I caught one little bass about that long. About that long. One little bass about that long. About that long right there. About that long. She's caught like four or five bass, nice bass. She's caught one crappie in the bucket, another crappie that came off. She's caught like seven or eight fish. I've caught one. Wait, wait, wait. I guarantee you I'm erasing all this video. Nobody's ever going to see this. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I don't catch something between now and dark. This will not go up on YouTube. I've been spanked before. I don't mind that. I do not mind getting spanked. This is ridiculous. You know what I think it is? I think it's all that alcohol I've been putting on my hands. Maybe that's why liquor stores are essential businesses and all this stuff. Because the alcohol, you can put the alcohol on your hands. The alcohol I've been putting on my hands is like pure ale or something. It's coming out of a, a bottle. I think I got some in my pocket right now. I've been putting a lot of that alcohol. That probably, that's probably rubbing off on my fishing lures and keeping me from getting a bite. I can't catch anything crappie fishing. I can't catch anything bass fishing. I've had one nice fish, about two and a half pounds, hit a spinner plug. Did not get buttoned up. But we're going out in the boat tomorrow, and I'm fixing to do the spanking. That's right. Put her fanny in the back of the boat. I'll catch them all. <laughs> If you'd have found me some crappie, I'd have helped you catch crappie, but, you know, it's been messing around, messing around. Your crappie wants to be turned back free. Okay, Let man. me out of this little bitty tiny round lake. Get in there, Lucy. What is that? Huh? That's kind of some fishy water, isn't it, Lucy? Huh? That kind of some fishy water, Lucy? Is that what that is? <laughs> well, Mr. Crappie, this is your lucky day because you were the only silly crappie in the whole bunch. Look here, Lucy. We're going to turn them back. Look here out there. Crappie says, let me go, lover, let me go, let me go, let me go. Here we go. See it? Here we go, Crappie. This is gonna be fun. Whee! <laughs> and the moral of that story is, if you go fishing, do not take a razorback bucket. You take a razorback bucket, you're only gonna catch one fish. Take a boomer sooner bucket. Or take your four or five women with you. Take four or five women, you might have four or five crappie. You can't feed them all four or five crappie, but. All right, so I let her catch them all. What a gentleman. <laughs> am I a gentleman? Hey, am I a gentleman? Am I a gentleman? Say yes, you are. Say, I love you, boss, even if you don't know how to catch fish. I love you even if you don't know how to catch fish. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh, thank you, baby. You want my rod, huh? Do you want my rod, honey? <laughs> I'm going to put your rod in the rod box is what I'm going to do with it. You reckon that orange rod? Probably. Can you make it up the hill on your old gimp foot, foot or do you need some help? Oh, I mean, pick me up on your way. Pick Kip on way. Chris has got one of our new Blaze Series rod and reels. They are beautiful, I got to admit, and I really don't like orange. Lucy chewed the handles up on one of these real nice pretty ones right here. I chewed all my, my paddles. I got to get some new paddles from Lou's on that. All right. It's got a nice paddle on it. I'm not letting Lucy get a hold of it. All right. Well, let's put these rods up, guys. Real proud of my rod storage system right over here. This is a... Uh, this is a... Uh, that's a... 
big long toolbox from Tractor Supply. I looked at all the magazines and all the internet and everywhere I could. Bass Pro Cabela's trying to find a trying to find a a place where I could put my rods. None of them were long enough to be able to put rods in, and uh, I just couldn't find anything. They're all too short. And I was in Tractor Supply over in Ardmore. And they had this old box sitting back there. It was on sale, like a couple hundred dollars off or something. It was on sale. It's a little bit rusted, you know. It's kind of old box. Been there for a while. I guess they couldn't sell it. Perfect for a rod box to put on the dock. So, so I bought that sucker, and I got it mounted there. And it's just absolutely a perfect place for me to keep my rods on the dock. I mean, can't get much better than that. All righty. Well, that's what happens when you want to go out and catch a crappie dinner and you bring a bucket along with you and you're going to catch a bunch of crappie and you don't. But it doesn't really matter what I'm saying right now because we are not uploading this video because Chris caught like eight and Jimmy caught like, what about that log? <laughs> you will not see this video. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Take my bucket and go home. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that little bell so it'll ding and remind you and you'll never miss a Jimmy Houston Outdoors video. Thanks a bunch, guys and gals.